Welcome guys. This is going to be a video for um, if you have a moon in Taurus. Okay, so let's talk about it guys. Let's see what we got. Um, if you are new to the channel, welcome. Go ahead and click that bell to subscribe so you won't miss out on future videos. Um, go ahead and share with your family and your friends. And if this message resonates with you, comment below, okay? Taurus moon. Wow. Let's see what we got. And I'm shuffling the wrong cards. <laughs> All right. Taurus moon. see what we get for Taurus Moon. These are general reads. They won't resonate with every single Taurus. Well, anyone who has Taurus in their moon. <laughs> it won't resonate with all of you. So take what applies and leave what doesn't. Okay, so don't come in the comment section. Oh, this don't do that because I will block you. All right, so the first card that we have is uh, show the world the real you, okay? So we ain't going to be faking it. You ain't, we ain't fake kicking it now. It's time to show the world who you really truly are. Step out of your comfort zone. Look at that right there at the bottom. The Spirit said that, not me. <laughs> I ain't say it, Spirit did. I'm just the messenger, okay? Step out of your comfort zone. Show the world the real you, who you truly are. The answers that you need are coming. The answers that you need are coming. Okay? All right. We got work through your fears. And we got look at the bigger picture. And I'm going I'm to pull, I'm going to get both of these. They came out at the same time, but I'm going to definitely um, utilize this. Adjustments are required. So, Taurus, you guys are really going through a transformation right here. Um, you guys are really going through some type of transformation, some type of awakening. Um, you're going to have to adjust. There are going to have to be adjustments made, okay? I'm not sure. I'm not saying that y'all are being fake. I'm just saying that... Um, there's something that needs, there needs to be adjustments. Like you have to come out of your comfort zone to get better results. The results that you're looking for, you're going to have to step outside of your comfort zone. Um, you can't be too familiar. Everything can't be so familiar. Okay. It's time to switch things up and do things different. I'm getting like a different approach is going to be more beneficial for you. Okay, so let's talk about present. Let's see what other messages we have. Yeah, we have loyalty here. We got high priestess of water at the bottom of the deck here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio you could be dealing with. We got beauty, okay? And we got growth, okay? Reminder, individuality. Okay, so <clears throat> sometimes you guys possibly need to be reminded, um, remind yourself how unique you are the world needs to see how unique you are um what's so cool about you what what do you do that's different from everybody else that needs to be put on the forefront at this at this moment in time okay you're beautiful you we got beauty here okay so a lot of you guys um are possibly like taking pictures or need to take pictures posting them get you know get get all the love that you can get from just off of your natural beauty um, because I just feel like some of you are just stuck in a certain way of doing things, okay? Growth, something needs to be broken, okay? A cycle kind of needs to kind of be broken. I'm getting that as well, too. Queen, I'm sorry, High Priestess of Water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Meditation, High Priestess of Fire. Okay, so 
you guys okay it's, this is basically saying think of ways to to bring more attention to your to yourself um in a very just be more spunky is what i'm getting the, the high priestess of fire she's fire energy okay like come out of your comfort zone okay be more playful i'm getting playful energy here the warrior <laughs> like i'm getting very much fire energy it's time for you guys um to come out of your very subtle settled energy um we know that you guys like stability and you know you like you know your possessions and things of that nature but it's time to be a little more playful it's time to put a little more emphasis and light on um what's unique about you okay Everything doesn't have to be such a routine every day. It's time to be more outspoken, um, show a little bit more, be a little bit more fun. I mean, I'm just getting that. I'm not saying that you guys are boring. I'm just saying that um, I feel like you guys are just stuck in a routine, okay? Show a different side. We got differences. A different side needs to be shown. Let's talk about the past. Loyalty. I forgot to even put emphasis on loyalty. You guys are extremely loyal. I give you that. You guys are extremely loyal. But it's time to show the world your loyalty. Um, but I feel like it's more of your loyalty to yourself. Show me past energy. Yeah, we got movement. This is progression. But we got denial here. Okay, so we got work through your fears. Work through your fears. So you're trying to progress. I feel like you didn't feel like you could do it, though. We got denial. Someone could have felt like you weren't going to come out of a bad situation, or either you felt like you didn't know how you were going to come, how you were going to move forward out of a situation. But nonetheless, I feel like you guys did prevail. I feel like you guys did move forward. There was forward movement. Okay. Future energy, we got invisible. Really? <laughs> High priestess of air. Look at the bigger picture. And then we got invisible. Invisible and high priestess of air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, high priestess of spirit, high priestess of earth. All right, I'm hearing like somebody's taking a trip too. I'm hearing that, like going on a trip, high priestess of air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, high priestess of spirit. High Priestess of Earth, which is you guys' energy. Honesty and risk. Okay, I'm getting that. Some of y'all are getting ready to... Oh, what is this? Okay, we got lust, confidence, and taking a risk. You feel like this, this type of behavior may be too risky for you um, to show this type of risky energy. But do you want to be... Um, overshadowed with invisible here i feel like there's other other people around you i'm getting that there's air energy um there's other, i'm getting like there's other energies around you that's going to be around you you're going to have to stand out you don't want to be like the outcast or the one that not saying that you should fit in but you want to have your own you individual style and own individual that sets you apart from everybody else um if you're busy following suit with everybody else um it's you're not going to be noticed you're not going to be the one that stands out you want to be more of the one that stands out you want to be more of the warrior woman or warrior type guy um i'm getting that there's going to be a few different energies around you um and i feel like you possibly feel like having confidence or showing too much because we got lust showing too much skin or showing doing too much um it's just a little too risky for you i feel like some of you may have issues like in your as far as your confidence 
um, you feel like it's too risky because I got risk here. Um, and this is just your honest opinion. I got honesty. This is just your honest opinion. I feel like there's a circle of people that you may be around or discussing things with. Um, and they may be coming off with this air energy. They're, they may communicate very bluntly. They may curse. They may say things like, you know, things that you really wouldn't say. Then you got the queen of uh, fire. She's kind of like, you know, promiscuous. She shows a little bit more cleavage. She goes out on the dance floor. She dances. She, you know, she's way more outgoing. And then you got the high priestess of water, which is, you know, more reserved and very, um, you know, sweet type energy. Within, you know, earth energy. You guys are very, you know, uh, stable and very, um, I'm not going to say materialistic, but you like the better things, fine things. Like there's, everybody has their own individual style. You guys need to make a way to find a way to make it to where you stand out in your own particular way. Okay. I'm definitely getting that energy. Definitely. Let's get some clarifiers. Let's see what we get. Stepping out of your comfort zone. Stepping out of your comfort zone. You guys are contemplating or you're preparing or the time has come for you to step outside of your comfort zone and do something different. Why is loyalty here? Justice. You could be dealing with the Libra. But this is definitely like a balance. Um, morals. So you feel like you have your morals set um, and things that are just and right. I got the chariot card and the temperance. Okay, so maybe you're going to a community party get together something to that sort of what is like a group of people um maybe even a wedding maybe you're going to a wedding with the justice and the four of wands this could be definitely a marriage or you're going to somewhere where it's a nice setting um where there's going to be a group of different people um and i think that's that's what's going on here because the chariot and the four of wands is going somewhere going to an event here and and the justice card is saying that you want to look nice you want to you know be balanced you kind of don't want to lean too much on this side lean too much on that side you want to kind of like just be in the middle why is justice here four of pentacles you're kind of reserved you're holding back um there may be talks about money like you're trying to just kind of stay in the money circle where they're talking about money. Let me see what's going on in past energy here. Why is a uh, movement here? Which is the chariot card? Page of Wands, fire energy. See, I'm getting like, like you are afraid to say something um, just to keep somebody happy. I'm getting Leo energy here with the sun card and the queen of wands and the strength card. Definitely Leo's energy. Um, I'm getting like you're afraid to say something to this Leo. I'm getting a Leo or a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, but I'm definitely picking up on Leo's energy. Asking to go. So maybe you was afraid, um, to ask, can you be invited or something to this, something like afraid to, or somebody asked you to go somewhere. The devil and the emperor. Oh, I'm getting like a big boss type energy. Ask your boss. Oh, asking your boss for the days off with the world card here. So I'm getting like, why is the devil card here? Capricorn's energy. But it's like, don't want to say this wrong thing. Two of pentacles to keep somebody satisfied with the six of wands and to keep a good reputation. Um... Knight of Cups, and yes, yeah, so you being invited, you were invited to something, to some type of celebration, some type of party, some type of get-together, or a wedding, something to that nature, definitely, okay, you, uh, maybe you were afraid to, to ask, 
But I feel like you were invited. Knight of Cups, Chariot, and the Four of Wands. You were invited to this event. There's an event going on here. And you were invited to this event. And I'm getting that it's a formal, a formal event. All right, so future energy, we got invisible. The Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Okay, Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups. I got the star. This is a wish come true. The nine of cups and the star card. This is definitely like a wish come true. But we got the four of cups and the temperance card. Maybe you don't like the music. You don't like the music that they're playing. Um, Why is the nine of cups here? Page of cups. You're waiting on someone to ask you what's wrong. King of Cups and the Five of Wands. Like, there's some type of issue. You're possibly going to have some type of issue. I feel like this is for people that are being... There's an event. Some type of special event or something that's <laughs> that's coming up or has already came up and now you're contemplating on it. Um, I'm getting, like, waiting for someone to ask you what's wrong. Why is the Page of Cups here? Six of Cups. Chariot. I'm getting like ready to go. Yeah, tired and ready to go. Four of Swords. I feel like you don't feel comfortable somewhere. There's something going on where you don't feel comfortable. Um, this is a very personal story. So, and I'm going to keep it. It's very personal. This is for a select few. Um, I'm going to keep this storyline because I'm not sure who all needs this energy. But I'm getting that it's definitely time for you to step outside of your comfort zone. Or you did already step outside of your comfort zone. Um, I feel like there's something that, that, that happened or is getting ready to happen in a group setting. Um, I don't feel like you feel too comfortable um, in this group setting. But you're trying to make the best of it. Um I feel like there's there's things that need to be worked on in the department of um, stepping outside of your comfort zone, doing things in a different way, not being so routine in an orderly fashion. All right, guys, so I hope this message was helpful for you, and I will chat with you guys on the next video.